What's up, fellas? Back today, doing a knife review. I'm gonna go over my Spyderco Paramilitary 2. It's my my favorite little blade now. So uh, most of you guys know, if you saw some of my my other videos, that the uh, the last the blade I've been carrying for the last year or so was my Spyderco Tenacious. Uh, I, I mean, I love it. I love that blade. I, I had been using it a lot, and I've been using it for about the last year. And trying to learn how to sharpen on a full flat grind like this, I really just I've scraped up the tip and the sides, not the blade itself, but the sides of the knife. And it just was starting to look really tacky and worn, and I guess some guys like that. I just, honestly, I, it was time for something new. That was kind of my, my intro to Spyderco, was that knife. And I loved it. I mean... Uh, so I went to the knife store and I traded it in and I, I was looking around at knives and I looked at some Benchmades and uh, a couple other ones, some Zero Tolerance and Kershaw's and whatnot and I just cannot get away from Spider Kelly. Like, honestly, I love this spider hole and I love everything about these knives, the shape and everything, the design, they're just great. Um, this one, the ergonomics, I mean, I have, you have to say medium sized hands and this just fits perfectly in my hand. It's got this under jimping in there, right there, if you don't know if you can see that. So focus in, it's got the, the jimping on the thumb ramp, and it's hard to describe this, I would say mildly aggressive. Uh, the way the jimping works is it's kind of at a downward angle like that, so when you go and you put your thumb on the thumb ramp, I mean, you can see how it kind of has that weird flicking motion. It's, it stops, it like bites onto your thumb, but not in a way that it'll hurt. It just, it just I don't know how to describe it, it's fantastic. So. Yeah, I got my hands on it, and I couldn't stop playing with it. I just love everything about it. G10 handle scales uh, with this digital camo. Um, got a compression lock, which is something I'm not really familiar with, or I wasn't. Um, but it, it, it just closes really smoothly. And it has these brass washers in there that make it open and flick open like a dream. Now, there's other people that are real speedy about it and use it for tactical purposes and whatnot. That's not really my ordeal. I'm not really down with that. That's just whatever. Um, my only thing is, uh, I'm not really, I'm not really a big folder guy per se, so it was really hard for me to get into the $120, you know, paramilitary too, just because, I mean, it's $120 for a folder. There's a, when you, I mean, it's perfect if you're going to go out and use it for cutting open boxes or opening letters or I don't know what else you would use it for in everyday carry kind of role. But, I mean, if you were to use it any other time than that, like if you needed it in an emergency, like to cut wood or start a fire or something along those lines, you're going to be putting a lot of pressure right here. This is where all the pressure is going to go, right there. And I mean, it makes me nervous to think about that. You're going to get a lot of side to side play and up and down play. And I mean, I've seen videos, of reviews of this knife, a guy's beaten on it, and it had a little bit, but just in general, the thought of it makes me kind of nervous. I mean, I put $120 into it. So this is kind of my pretty knife. Uh, okay, let me shift these. Let's see here. I'll give you a little size. Thing. Here, take a peek. I mean, it's a pretty good sized knife. It's about eight inches. It's hard to tell, but yeah, that's about that's about what it is. About eight inches. I mean, it's a big knife, but it's not like their other knife, the military, which is enormous. This thing is pretty mild mannered, I think, compared to that one. And check this out here. This is right out of the box. No hang-ups whatsoever. And if I really want to get fine to it, let me do it this way. Yeah, how fine some of these curls are. It's kind of hard to see. They're real fine. They get down there and they get really thin. And that's just because this knife is so sharp. And the, uh, the S30V steel is fantastic. And this is CPM S30V. So the hardness on this is pretty sweet. Given it is going to be hard to sharpen, but uh, if you're going to get it done or if you do it yourself, once you get it to the point where you're ready to have it, razor sharp, it's going to stay like that a lot longer than say 8CR13, which was like my old Tenacious. So yeah, big fan of this knife. Ended up purchasing it. Um, the, the one thing I can say about it that I can't really say about any other knife is this knife is semi-hard to come by. If you go on any website right now, any of the big ones, you know, Blade HQ or Knifeworks or any of those ones, they're sold out. You can't get them. If you go on Amazon, this one's running 140 bucks, and that's supposed to be a discount kind of, you know, online retailer. I bought it at my local store for 120, 
And if you were to, you know, that's the good thing about it. If you were to go out and use this thing for a month and decide that, you know, you wanted to upgrade or get something even better than this, the resale value on this, you could turn around and sell it on Craigslist or whatnot and get three quarters, if not 100% of your money back just because they're so hard to come by and everybody wants them. Uh, I mean, I can't say enough good things about it. If you're going to get one that's a folder, like I said, not a big folding guy. Um, I mean, I, I gotta say I would recommend this just because it's got all the, all the good stuff that my Tenacious had, plus it has the CPM steel, and it's just razor sharp, the jimping's great, the handles feel good, I mean, it comes with a lifetime warranty on it, I mean, what, what, what can you say bad about it, honestly, it's, I mean, it's fantastic. Um, the price range is up there, so, I mean, if you're willing to spend $120 on it, you're definitely not gonna regret it. Um, I would look into getting one. Alright, fellas. If you like these videos, uh, subscribe.